A trip on the Mekong is an unforgettable experience, and on the MS Mekong Sun, a very comfortable one indeed. The Mekong Sun was built in 2005, and it is the only cabin cruise vessel in northern Laos. Of course, with every conceivable service, but variety and entertainment are also given top priority. A maximum of 28 passengers travel in 14 cabins that face the river. A crew of 18 caters for the passengers. All cabins have a French balcony, some even a full balcony, as well as their own bath. In the small library, a selection of literature for the trip. The Mekong Sun is a catamaran with two steel hulls and a draft of only 35 inches. The 135 foot long ship with its solid high grade wood construction weighs almost 100 tons. It sails under the Laotian flag for predominantly Western passengers. Each detail on board has been lovingly selected and creates an atmosphere of well-being. Amazing what the chefs can conjure up in the small galley. Every night a menu with several courses is being served with the option to leave out a course if necessary so that the guests can make it through all of those delicious dishes. And there is at least one information session every night. For example, from the lifestyle of the monks in Laos to presentations about local fruits. Even if the daytime temperatures in the Laotian winters linger around 25 degrees Celsius, it is sometimes quite cool in the mornings. The guests can then choose whether to have a breakfast on the open deck or to stay inside in the cozy onboard restaurant. A trip on the Mekong means experiencing slowness without a single moment of boredom. The father of the Mekong son on his company's idea. We don't just want to meet the expectations of our customers, we want to exceed them. The market reacts very positively to our new routes, which are cleverly worked out and which are more distinctive than the others. As soon as there is anything interesting to see, the Mekong Sun docks without further ado. And the passengers are then taken to the sites. In the famous Golden Triangle, a huge Buddha statue on the Thai side has become a lucrative tourist attraction. Hans Engberding shows his guests the location of the Golden Triangle between Myanmar, Thailand and Laos. The trip on the Mekong starts from this border triangle. It leads down the river to the ancient royal city of Luang Prabang and further south to the capital Vientiane or vice versa. And right away, a surprise en route. Elephants at work that are coming from the jungle. They help to transport the high-grade wood to the cargo vessel. Some treat themselves to a small break when they see the unusual sight of the Mekong Sun. Or entertain the tourists for a change. Wait, wait. 
But above all, it's hard work they're doing day after day for about one dollar per person per day. Luang Prabang, the ancient royal city in the heart of Laos. The city with its 30 ancient preserved temples, such as the Wat Cheng Tong, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Somehow, it is still the country's secret capital. The morning attraction. A procession of monks makes its way through the streets of the city. A blessing for those who give, not those who take. Luang Prabang conveys to the visitor a feeling of special charm and sereneness. The night market with its local products and the night bar scene is a part of it. Towards Vientiane. The large stupa in the capital is the landmark of Laos. Its origins are said to go back more than 2,000 years. More than 6,000 Buddha statues from various temples in Laos are exhibited in the Wat Sisakit. The Victory Monument in the heart of the city is a reminder of French colonial times. Altogether, Vientiane is just like Laos, quiet and without any hustle and bustle, living for the moment and looking forward into the future, in tourism as well.